Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. As usual, I'm your host CyberMonkey and today we're going to be going over the Defend the Web series. Uh, and I think, yep, we're going to be going over Intro 8. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see how long it takes us to solve this. So I think maybe on 4 or 5 we had to start using Burp Suite, so I'm expecting us to have to start using it a little bit more. Uh, I have gone through a few of these levels already, but I did them some time ago, I think like two weeks ago. So I really don't remember them too much with everything else going on. Um, so we're going to kind of be solving these together as we go through and we'll see how long it takes us to push through these. Like I said in the other video, well, I'm trying to keep these down under five minutes where I can just share the content with you and you can get some value from it and move on. So we're just going to do a quick comb through the source element. Um, we're just viewing the source of the page itself. We're going to see if we have anything that pops up. I just like to kind of just do a quick scroll through and then do some keyword searches before I start having to switch to other options or maybe take things a bit slower. Um, this just kind of gives me a quick idea of what I'm dealing with. So as you can see here, we have the, the username input field and the password input field here and then we also have what looks to be a file so let's go ahead and copy this and uh, let's see what this ends up revealing but I'm gonna actually do them All right, so it looks like we're working with uh, binary. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. And I've been I've been playing around with different ways of reporting. Uh, when it came to the OSCP, I really wanted to have a well-defined system for reporting, something that was quick so I could turn out very detailed, articulate, and very accurate reports as quickly as possible. So I've been kind of exploring different options for um, kind of consolidating all of the data that I do while exploring machine and it brought me to pen test WS now I am only using the free version just to get a feel for it uh, I, I can't really give a full opinion on it but they do have cyber chef in here which is great you can go ahead and drop the input in this case the binary that we found you can see the output there you have different options to kind of go through uh, let's see they should hopefully have um there it is from binary so once you do that you just drag and drop it in and it gives you the output which is burn blaze and i'm pretty sure this is the password and this is probably going to be the username so let's jump over there uh burn blaze i think it was and drop in that there we go. So it took us three minutes and about almost four minutes to solve. Um, so I hope everyone enjoyed the content. It wasn't too, too hard going into it. I am definitely expecting to pick it up today. I think I've already completed about 12 of these. I'm gonna do the filming tonight for all 12, schedule the releases for all of them, and then continue working on some of these. I've been really excited to jump back over to Over the Wire and work on like Not Us and um, Narnia. I do want to work on my buffer overflows a little bit. I think there's only one actual buffer overflow challenge for the OSCP, and I heard that it can be done in maybe an hour or two, but my buffer overflow is really weak, so instead of wasting all that lab time that I have when I purchase the OSCP to learn the buffer overflow in case I hit any challenges, I definitely want to focus on it before that. So as I kind of roll into the PWK, it's kind of like a healthy refresher for me where I can just practice on their labs and everything like that. Um, so we're going to try to build up on some of my weak points, and I strongly encourage you to do the same. If you enjoyed the content, please like, share, subscribe. Your support goes a long way. I like being able to help people. You know, I spent 10 years in the military, and I was an instructor during that time. And now that I'm out and I'm a civilian, I really don't get to do much of that. So this, for me, is kind of something kind of similar you know I, I get to share my knowledge no matter how little or small it may be and in hopes you know in hopes that it's going to 
end up benefiting somebody else and help them in their journey along the way. So if you do like the content and you do like the message being shared, by all means, like, share, subscribe. And uh, thanks for tuning in and I will catch everyone in the next video. Thanks everyone.